She just was strong. She's been out here on the road with us uh, for the last four or five years now. She used to come when she could. She raised great babies, and um, we had a wonderful, uh, we got wonderful children. They're all three. My son's a, uh, getting ready to be a senior in college. He's the, he's the baby, so he's the last of the, he's the last of my tribe. And uh, she enjoys, she enjoys uh, coming and hanging out. I've got some really close friends of mine that are uh, singers. S some of my favorite nights are like when uh, me and Sammy Hagar and a couple more and their wives are all out. We're all jamming, having fun in Mexico, and everybody's standing around your family and everybody's partying. You can't get that perfect thing to work unless everybody's sold in from the start. You know, there's going to be highs and lows, but at the end of the day, uh, you're either supposed to be together or you're not is what broke you through that was your breakover how and why did you write it how did that come about um i had just got uh, i was trying to get a record deal and i just been turned down by capital in nashville very very famous rat pack producer the guy who produced the rat pack jimmy bowen had just turned me down and said his company had capital in nashville had said um you're we've already got um, Garth Brooks and we're not looking for a male artist and your songwriting you need to go back to Woodshed and I had just written that song in 20 minutes about two months before on the side of a bathtub in Dodge City Kansas I went pheasant hunting with about 20 guys one of them was a highway patrolman and and we went into this western saloon and this dude was about my age now and he was in hunt clothes, and this young girl standing at the bar, he gets up from his stake, and he said, I think I'm gonna go dance with her. And they're like, John, she ain't gonna dance with you. You're in hunting clothes, and you stink. You've been in the field all day. No, watch this. She turns him down. A little bit later, a young guy comes in, and she's right on the floor, and somebody goes, John, you should have been a cowboy. <laughs> and I went, ding, 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 ding. I was like, oh, I got that. So we were staying in this little, motel and we're staying two to a room somebody at least a room and i went in and my guy that was uh staying in my room went to bed and i didn't want to wake him but i brought a guitar and so i grab it go in the bathroom sit on the side of that little shower bathtub combo and in 20 minutes i wrote it here for my horses unusual uh, title to say the mm -hmm. least you were actually in the movie beer for my horses uh for your listeners or your viewers um me and Willie and Rodney Carrington and David Allen Coe and uh, uh, got a lot of people's in that movie. Claire Filani, uh, it was a bunch of movies. Anyway, we shot this movie and they said, we need, an, uh, we need somebody to do the TV announcement at the end in the bar. And I said, call Dan Rather and you did it. <laughs> Country music legend Toby Keith, uh, the singer known for countless hits in the 90s and early 2000s, died from stomach cancer according to his website. He's knocking on my door. I knew all of my life that someday it would be. When you got that call, how did you feel? The first of all, I went, what? I'm the first one. This is the first icon where I was like, what is it? I don't know who it is, but uh, it's, it's nice. Um, it's, uh, you know, I got the icon for uh, BMI last year, the songwriters. And uh, it's just, you look up, you look back, and 
you see what you've accomplished, and it's pretty amazing. How are you feeling? You've been through it, buddy. <laughs> oh, I walked some dark hallways. Almighty's riding shotgun. But uh, I feel pretty good. You know, it's a, you have good days and bad days, but it's a little bit of a roller coaster. But I'm doing a lot better than I was this time last year. I was glad to see that you were going to be here. Are you performing this evening? Mm -hmm, yes. What are you going to be performing? I'm going to do Don't Let the Old Man In. Like the song I wrote for the Clint Eastwood movie. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Thank you. What's been your inspiration to keep you so strong? Uh, just my faith. You know, I just, uh, I've always rode with a prayer, and I, uh, uh, as long as I have him with me, you know, I'm cool. It, it's just, you just have to dig in. You don't have a choice. We said they report to you the untimely passing of the country music legendary Toby Keith. Following the tragic death of a country music legendary, here is my tribute video to Toby Keith. Please drop your condolence messages in the comment section, but kindly keep the comments respectful. You all know that Toby Keith has been battling stomach cancer. Our thoughts goes out to his family and loved ones, and may his soul rest in eternity. Toby Kate sadly passed away on Monday, February 5th, after a battle with stomach cancer. He will be remembered for his hits, Should Have Been a Cowboy and Red Solo Cup. Toby Kate is said to have passed away peacefully at his home at the age of 62. His death was reported by his family in a statement. Our thoughts goes out to Toby Kate's family and loved ones and may his soul rest in eternity. You are watching Touch News Media and please watch the subscribe and turning on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything that we upload. I love you guys and stay safe. Bye bye.